everybody on YouTube land. Why well, World Trains here. Hey, I want to thank all my subscribers who have found my channel the last couple of years and have enjoyed my videos. I want to thank you for that. Hey, and if you want to help new people who haven't found my channel to find it and enjoy my videos like you have, every time you watch one of my videos, give it a thumbs up. That's right. When you give my videos a thumbs up, it helps new rail fans find my channel and enjoy the videos the same way you have the last couple of years. So I want to thank you for that in advance. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go get some train videos right now. Hey everybody, it's Wide World of Trains here. Got a train about two and a half miles away. We're going to watch them approach long distance style. I know many of you people like my long distance views, so we're going to keep doing them. I think they're pretty cool myself. You get to see a lot more, you know. If you look just to the right of the train, you can see the end of the train going around a curve. That is over three miles away. That's around mile post 41. I'm at 44 and a half. I could zoom in a little bit more. You really could see the cars. See them coming around the corner? Around the curve. Try to move the tripod just a little bit. Just try to loosen up a little bit here. Barely, barely moving it. There we go.
Symbol on that train is CSX Q367. Heading west. The train starts out in Selkirk, New York. Terminates at the clearing yard in Chicago, Illinois. I like the view from this side. You can see a lot more. There's no really no uh, foliage or trees or anything in the way. It's harder to do when the sun is out, but we're not going to get a lot of sun this winter. We never do, so. But if we do get a lot of sun, I'll take it, believe me. With the snow we get around the Buffalo area. Now it would be pretty cool to see another train come around that bend down there. That automobile traffic you see is the New York State Thruway. Those vehicles are heading east. It's otherwise known as Interstate 90. Eastbound semi truck right there. The NS tracks that are adjacent to these do the same thing, they go under the bridge. There's a westbound car heading west, another truck. I want to see a train come around that corner, heading the, this way, heading east. Like that five-way meet I got the other day, that was awesome, I'll tell you. One of my best catches ever. And I've got over 14,500 videos on YouTube. So that's saying something, I think. I think it's one of my best out of all of them. Those are absolute signals right there at CP47, so those stay lit, those don't go out. The ones behind me here, as you can, as you saw, when the train approaches, they go on when the train is in the block. Then they go out when it leaves. And they're still on. Oh, they just went out. I was just turned around to look at them. Track two is green, so we do have an eastbound coming. Could be five minutes, could be an hour. But we're gonna stick around and see. Gonna keep filming until that train clears the bend right down there, just past 47. There's those oversized boxcars at the end that I was talking about earlier. That train probably has 475 ax 76 axles couldn't be 75 unless there was one with a wheel missing there he goes around the bend I'm gonna guess 476 CSX equipment defect detector milepost 4 niner point 4 track 1 no defects no defects Total axle five four eight speed three seven end of transmission. Had five hundred and forty eight axles. I was off by about seventy five. I usually get them closer than that. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I like to get within twenty or thirty or forty axles when I try to guess, but that's what it was. Pretty good sized train. 
all on this Saturday, October 30th, 2021 from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Ah! I'll zoom out and show you just how far away that is. Pretty far, eh? Let me know what you think in the comments and give this video a like. All right, see you in the next video. It's raining again today. On this Saturday, October 30th, 2021 from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. We've had so much rain the last two weeks. And those cars are really bouncing off of that crossing right there. Look at that. DPU all right. There's the end. The symbol is CSX I-169. That train starts out at the 59th Street Yard in Chicago, Illinois. Terminates in Port Newark, New Jersey, heading east. On this Saturday, October 30th, 2021, from Wide World of Trains and YouTube. Bah! First train of the day, Trains in the Rain. Probably going to be the title. that's at but if this train here the Q634 starts coming around at this time of the day I'll be seeing it a lot more and maybe they'll that'll uh, be the way to catch the wide world of trains car yep that is CSX Q634 heading east that train starts out in Columbus Ohio and uh, terminates in New York City all on this 
Friday, October 29, 2021, in the rain from Wide World Trains on YouTube. Uh... Yes, a couple of cabooses. Yes, 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 Chessie Caboose is no way!